Hey, I'm Sarah Boswell. I'm senior writer at Chatelaine Magazine. Here we are on CFB Borden um, Military Base, north of Toronto. I'm here for the Women in Force program. We're about to do the force test. It's an evaluation that every military member has to do every single year. I will probably pass out and fall on my face, but we're gonna give it a go. Everybody else in there is trying it out. I'm determined to succeed. I don't think I will get 10 out of 10, but we'll see. On the dock this morning, 20 meter rushes, sandbag lifts, and sandbag drags. But first, gotta stretch it out. Bailey Jowernicki to explain sort of why this is necessary. She's been following the Women in Force program along with us the whole time. So tell me, if that was really hard. I, I did it and it was just tough on your body and your mind. Like what, what is this for? Um, so there's four components which you've all completed. So great job. Thank you. Um, so the first one that you did was 20 meter rushes. You get up and you get down. Yeah. So that one is simulating advancing on the enemy. Okay. Getting up, and we call it up, he sees me down. So you get up sees me, you get down again. Okay. So that's really important. Um, the sandbag lift, so that's the one we're picking it up. Oh, that was hard. Yeah. So that one is uh, simulating disaster relief. So recently we had floods in Quebec, mm -hmm. um, all along the St. Lawrence River, and many Red Force and Reserve members were assisting with that, and those are the skills that they're using. Okay. Um, the next one is gonna be your intermittent loaded shuttle. Okay. So that's the one where you're picking it up and you're, and you're transporting. Yeah. And that would be simulating an environment where you're transporting goods from one base to another or from one location to another. That's seen everywhere in the military. So on ships, we store ship. We need to bring our food and all our goods with us. Same as the army, they're moving goods. And then the last one where you're doing the sandbag drag, the one that you just did. Yes. Work. <sighs> that one is really important um, because if a friend of yours, a colleague of yours is in a yeah. bad situation, um, you're there to help support them and get them out of that situation. So um, Army, Air Force, and Navy, we're all going to have opportunities where we hope we never need to do it, but that's what you're doing. You're assisting a peer get out of a difficult situation that they can't get themselves in. So I was kind of simulating dragging my comrade with me, for Absolutely, example. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, I got a high five with them, Thank you. My legs feel like really, really sore right now. I'm probably going to be unable to move tomorrow. This test is no joke and uh, it's very hard. Everybody has to do it every year and I think uh, salute them for doing that. <laughs> Seriously. Next up, the participants and I visited the fire academy where we met a few firefighters and even got to try on some military grade equipment. The 
this also provided a great opportunity for, you guessed it, selfies. After playing dress up, the squad headed over to what those in the forces call the confidence course, a test of agility, strength, and balance. I blame the technology <laughs> and my butt. <laughs> yeah. So do I want to brace on my pubic bone okay, or not? So she hit skin all of these right there. She's wearing a pink bone. Um, wow, I don't know if I really don't want to do it now. Bright and early on a Saturday morning, and we're at this gun range, one of three, it's called Vimy Range. I'm really freaking sore. My legs are so burning. We plan to shoot guns today for the very first time. I've never done that before, um, except for like playing Duck Hunt on my Nintendo as a kid. I'll see you up there. Still have to learn how to put this on. Just keep the weapon okay, pointed keep, that way. Watch out where you're pointing. Keep Sorry. it pointed down on the ground.
Go! And now for lunch, army style. Good to be, yeah, good. Oh, nice and hot. That's a luxury. Pasta stuffed with ricotta. This is turkey strips with orange sauce and also pasta that they did not mention. You have my coffee. Hey, well, my face is green. No, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> you just get a nap. Thank you. Our stellar fur. It's okay, <laughs> I've been too aware. And of course we took a few more selfies to cap off the day. So we just finished a day on Bimmy Range. I shot a gun for the very first time ever. It was just like a lot of breathing, which is really interesting to me. Like they, they kind of, this coach next to me was just like breathe through it, like keep focused. I was like, this is like a lot like yoga actually, which is not at all like yoga. I don't love the feeling of the gun going like off your shoulder, but there was this cool, powerful jolt that happened. It's uh, pretty uh, intense stuff that these guys are contending with, but the girls were just like full on all about all of it, uh, not daunted at all. So <sighs> salute them for sure.